We're here at uh, Lady Evelyn Cobalt's grave, uh, also known as Zelim Cobalt. And uh, she was the first British Muslim woman to do Hajj in 1933 at the age of 65. Uh, Lady Evelyn was the daughter of an earl and she was born in 1867, which is 150 years ago. And she passed away in 1963. And mashallah, she's been quite a uh, an inspiration to most of us and I've got brothers uh, uh, Manavar and uh, Umar here as well and uh, just to give you an idea I'm just gonna pan around and I'm gonna show you where she's buried this is a state that was a hunting lodge and she specifically requested that she wanted to be buried here um, she was very patriotic very Scottish uh, she was also a very proud Muslim and she spent her childhood years in places like Algeria and Morocco and it's thought that in those early days she embraced Islam but she didn't actually publicly acknowledge that she was a Muslim from later on yeah, and there's inscription at the bottom it says Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth a likeness a likeness of his light is as a pillar on which is a lamp the lamp is in a glass the glass is if the glass is as if we are a brightly shining star lit from a blessed olive tree, neither eastern nor western. The oil whereof almost gives light, though fire is very tough, to, it's very hard to read. A mother for us all. How does it feel? I mean, uh, yeah. you know, me and you have wanted to be here for many for years. Time, for a long time, absolutely. And we're finally here. I think uh, being involved with the Colourful Heritage Project where we've been trying to document the history of Muslims in Scotland to come here 150 years from the day she, from the time she from the year she was born is phenomenal. Yeah. And I especially just, I mean this week especially yeah. people are on the way to Hajj as yeah. we speak. Yeah. They are making that pil right, pilgrimage. Yeah, there are yeah. millions in Iran. And the reason why we're here particularly is because this lady here was the first British born Muslim a lady who went to Hajj in 1933 and mashallah now there are millions of people around the world at this point uh, and it's yeah. quite poignant that we're here during this week one uh, of all weeks absolutely one thing just to note note the verses of the Quran uh, chapter 23 I believe is there uh, if you look around you pan around you the verses of Quran are etched literally etched in the literally etched in the soil around this valley in the Strathcarran region in the highlands of Scotland there is a grave here with the words of Quran just emanating from this place SubhanAllah Allahu Akbar MashaAllah and this is uh, the place she actually specifically chose to, to be buried here and I, I'm not sure but I can, I can probably guess that this is probably one of the highest graves within the UK of any Muslim uh, and you know she she was uh, she was a lover of uh, natural beauty. She loved Wakela deers, and this is an estate with over 600 deers, uh, and uh, she's buried, I believe, next to her as a family member, a Wilfred Cobalt. This was a woman who pushed above her weight. If you think about when she was born, 1867, there weren't any cars, there weren't any planes. She went all the way to Hajj. You know, she and the fact that she was a woman, and let's face it, society wasn't hadn't progressed as much as it has today, and it was m difficult for women. If you look at the suffragette mo suffragette movement in the UK, that was much later, but she did a lot of things, punched above her weight her whole life. We're in the Highlands here, uh, and it's taken us a, a, a while getting to this spot. It's quite remote, uh, and she left from this place. Uh, in the highlands to go all the way to Makkah to perform the pilgrimage here uh, and you know very inspirational and she did it at the age of 65 years old in 1933 and a year later in 1934 her account of her pilgrimage to Makkah was written uh, and if you do get a book a uh, chance to read that book then go along and read that. Uh, make dua for Lady Evelyn Kobo uh, also known as Zenim Kobo may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her a place in Jalant Fardos uh, forgive her uh, of any sins she may have done and let her be elevated in uh, amongst those that are 
enjoying the company of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And for me uh, and the brothers here, this is an inspirational trip, uh, the highlight of our trip. We've been doing the NC 500 for the last uh, few days, uh, but this is amazing.